It is, uh, I don't see, I have no idea what day it is. I lost track weeks ago. We are cleaning up the hotel room. Hudson is waiting with me. His mom's not in here. He gets a little sad when she's not around, but there's food in here, so he acts, he acts okay when he knows there's potential for treats. Uh, his giraffe ball and everything got washed. We did all our laundry. Everything's looking a bit of a mess right now, but that's to be expected. Uh, stealing some breakfast burritos. Not really stealing. It's included, but we're just taking extras for later. Took some hot sauce, some forks. Those are pretty much gone, thanks to Jess. Look at all her freaking crap. Yeah. All right. We'll give you an after shot, maybe. Who knows? Probably not. Part of living out of your car, refilling your water jug. This hotel's water does not taste bad. Uh, no easy way to fill it from the sink, though, so doing it one bottle full at a time. Our disaster of a hotel room, slightly less disastrous. We've cleared pretty much everything out of here. Uh, got some trash there. I just got to take Hudson, my purse, water bottle, and coffee out to the car. I think this is John's bag. Is Nope, that's a hair dryer. That can stay. We got toilet paper to steal. All right, I think that's it. Officially checked out and getting ready to hop in the car and head back to film a couple videos touring our new cleanish cars. All right, we're getting ready to go for a walk. Hudson's drinking up some water. Jess is doing, I have no idea. I'm ready. She's putting pants on. She's putting pants on. Uh, we just filmed some videos that we're probably gonna delete and refilm <laughs> because we didn't like either of them. We filmed walkthroughs of our cars, but I kept- yeah, it's basically a practice run. I don't, the lighting's not the best. Like, we can, there's a lot of things we can change. But I'm actually going to go for a walk today with them. Not that excited. Uh, I was debating on bringing the hat. Uh, I brought it. I was like, I'll probably regret it. I regret it. It's like five minutes into the walk. Yeah, the cars are, I don't know, somewhere back there. You find them, I'm not looking. <laughs> I'm with Gassy McGee over here. Burping, not farting. <laughs> I want that note. <laughs> There's Poopy McGee. Wandering That's McGee. eating, not actually pooping. <laughs> so John drove back here yesterday. Our cars are way down there. He drove up here thinking that we could uh, camp upside at the top of this hill, which honestly on camera does not look bad at all. looks like very easy to go up. It's not easy to walk up either. Like, it feels super steep. Because it is. Um, Hudson, meantime, had no problem. <laughs> Whew. Whew. I'll catch you in a minute when I get my breath. So this is the top of that little camping space. Hudson is exploring a cave. This is kind of weird. Hiking down the hill. Caught it. <laughs> and to catch it, you just run. <laughs> you, you can't even tell in the video, but it is hard to walk down this hill. I'm wearing freaking Crocs. I've slipped three times. He's got, he's got no tread. I, I don't want that. <laughs> you're, you're good. You're good. Call Hudson down to you. Done quite a bit of like hiking up on this walk. So John's got his hoodie around his waist. And I don't know if you can see, but I also put mine around my waist because we're getting sweaty. Also, look at this hill. It's like, uh, kind of reminds me of like a Incan mountain. <laughs> no, it's a hill. It's a, it's a big hill or a tiny, tiny mountain. It's a mountain. It's not a mountain. You're making mountains out of molehills, John. If you owned that, you'd be like, look, I own a mountain. Well, I don't own it, and it's a hill. There's this weird looking thing here, which from a distance looked like a crumpled building, John thought, maybe. But it's just some rocks. I was wondering how much further we're going to go. And I said we're walking at least an hour. And we're going to walk faster on the way down, so we have to walk like 45 minutes this way. I said we could just walk slow on the way back. 
All right, calling this the end. Bloop. You know, I, I think I'll go a little further for you, bud. That's good. <laughs> wow, he went a whole extra six feet, well, ten feet for you, Huts. It's because I love you. What is he doing? Staying clean as ever. <laughs> oh, you got a new stag? Yeah, that's nice. Bring it with us. Let's go. Oh my God, be careful. All right, Jess just said, take a video of me. I got to show my weapon off real quick. Uh, so on these walks here, there's not a lot of people around. So I just throw this leash around my neck, like in case I had to leash Hudson for some reason. But it also doubles as a whip in case you need one. So if someone's coming at me and I don't want them to, I have to watch out. Come here, Hudson. This is dangerous. Come here. You just whip them. <laughs> pretty good. It would at least keep people back from me. <laughs> it's got a hard metal end on it. I wouldn't want to get hit in the face with this. So I think it doubles good as a weapon. Leash or weapon, you decide. <laughs> Uh, so no one really needs to know this, but we're almost back to the cars and for some reason John and I really have to take coops. So we're getting back to our shovels and toilet paper. For those who are curious, poop was successful. Uh, I'm sure Jess is probably successful too, but She's not back yet. John and Hudson are down here, or down there. I'm up here. I just climbed up here to take a poop. And that's what I did. The highest point I've pooped from so far, I think. Plan for us was to go on that walk and edit. Well, I don't know if our plan was the walk, but it happened. Then we we're gonna come back and edit. And on the walk, she says, ah, maybe I'm, maybe I'm not gonna edit. Like, I'm not gonna get the solar panel out or anything. Uh, maybe I'll just go. Oh. Now, Hudson has climbed in. This is his napping spot, and I'm about to climb in the back. I'm so tired. Yeah. I need a nap. I only got like three hours of sleep last night because I didn't go to bed till like 2 a.m. And I got up at 5 with him. So, she's going to take a nap, sis. So I'm probably going to edit. Hudson's probably going to take a nap, sis, too. All right. <laughs> Just trying to lay here and he's all up in my face. Huh? He's over nap time. I'm not though. Hudson is apparently thinking it's a good idea to bring this giraffe on the walk with us. I don't think it's such a good idea. But he looked darn cute carrying it. What are you stalking? Hudson? No. Come on. Let's go for a walk. Oh, okay, you're gonna bring the giraffe? Alright, I guess we're bringing it. I think I'm going to end up carrying it in like a minute, but he's carrying it for now. Come on, keep bringing your giraffe. <laughs> We're playing a little bit of tug of war. It's been a fun walk. We have not made it far. Yeah. You silly goose. Oh, drop him. Go get him. Um, sir. You dropped something. Did you want it back? Because you left it back there about 30 yards. Yeah? Oh, you want it now? Okay, thanks for letting me carry that for you. This dog, man. What does he think he's doing? Hudson! Hudson! Oh, thank you. Hi. Okay, good job. Let's take him with us. Yeah, keep bringing him. There we go. That's right. So again, my dog has abandoned his giraffe, and I now have him slung over my shoulder. He wanted to bring him, but Mama ended up carrying him. <laughs>